When your prophet went to the Kaaba and he destroyed the 360 idols of the Kaaba, yeah. is it not true that the pagans would also worship stones, right? Yes. And doesn't the Quran say that the reason why they worship these gods and goddesses was so that they could bring them near to Allah and intercede for them? Okay. Isn't it true that the pagans told your prophet, the reason why we worship these gods and goddesses is so that they can bring us nearer to Allah? Shafi, intercession, right? That's what the pagans said. Yeah, right. And your prophet said, I don't care. It's still shirk, right? I guess. Yeah. You, what do you mean you guess? He didn't he destroy I'm the idols? Okay. Didn't yeah, he destroy yeah, the idols? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Why then did your prophet kiss and touch and smother a black stone? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, tell me. No, 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 no. You got to tell me. Explain to me because Omar didn't understand. Omar ibn al Khattab didn't understand. He said, I know that you're a stone that neither harms nor benefits. Had I not yes. seen Rasulullah kiss you, I would not kiss you. Even Omar didn't understand, but he still did it because he followed your prophet. Why did your prophet kiss a black stone and smother it and make it sunnah for you guys to do it when that's the very thing the pagans did and your prophet condemned them for it? Because we respect the stone. What do you mean? It's a sacred piece of stone, so we respect what it. What makes it sacred? Isn't it because true? Allah said so. Allah, so wait, Allah condemned the pagans for respecting stones that they thought would bring them closer to Allah, but then he honors the black stone because when you kiss the black stone, it sucks up your sin and brings you closer to Allah. Yeah, because the stones that yeah. the pagans worshipped were like not the right gods, right? So they were disobeying Allah by... But the black God. stone was and something they, they kissed and they smothered as one of their gods. It's not... Okay, so you know divine command theory, morality comes from God. Where divine command is theory, I see. So, okay, so let me just get you right. If Allah says this is pagan, don't do it, then that makes it pagan. But then if he says, no, it's not pagan, you can lick it, now it's no longer paganism, right? Are these two cases exactly the same? Yes, because the black stone, exactly. the black stone was one of the stones that the pagans used to venerate and kiss because they thought this black stone would bring them closer to Allah. Your prophet took the black stone and said, not only will it take you closer to Allah, it turned black because the stone sucked up your sins. From your sins, it became yes. black. And then on the yes. day of ju judgment, Allah will give it eyes and a tongue to speak to defend you. It will be your intercessor. Yeah, okay. How, how does that prove that it's it? Oh, so you're okay with that? Yes, I would. Yeah. So you're okay with that? All right, okay. All right, you're okay. Wait, but we don't worship the stone, though. <laughs> you you can say you don't worship it when you tell me that it's sunnah to kiss it if you can, because I know there's too many people now. But if you make umrah or hajj and you're able to kiss it and touch it, this is the place you kiss it, touch it, and you even weep. And the stone then takes your sin. Does not that they say it came down white but became black from the sins of those who kiss it? Wait, do you think we believe that? The, yeah, that's true, by the way. Yeah, that is true. Say it again. Do you think that's true? Yeah, it okay. used to be not black and then it became black because it took everyone's because of everyone's it sin. took everyone's sins. So let me get the logic a black stone can take your sins, but you condemn Christians when we say Jesus took our sins. Okay, cool. So the reason why the black stone and the worship of the pagans is disanalogous is because the pagans worship their stones thinking the stones were God. We worship the stone thinking it's not God. Therefore, God condemns the first one and doesn't condemn the second one. And it's not a breaking reasoning to have those two positions. Okay. Well, let me, let me define to you what they thought a God was. They thought a God was a being who had power and abilities they did not have, but they were not, still not equal to Allah. And they could go before Allah and grant Allah's favor for them. That's what they meant by what? ilah, right? That's not what... Yeah, well, the, pa the even the Quran says we worship them to bring us closer to Allah. And your Quran says if you ask them who made the heavens and the earth, they'll tell you Allah. They did not think these gods, according to your Quran, were equal to Allah, right? Well, I don't know what the hell. You, wait, they're not equal to Allah. They did yeah, not think Allah al uzamanat these gods were equal to Allah because the Quran says if you ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they'll say Allah. Right. The okay. definition of God. Yes, their definition of an ilah. No, no, no. Yes, Allah to Allah, all the idols were not. So let me try. Let me repeat it again. I and agree with you. You're, okay, but let me repeat it so people can follow because you keep cutting me off. They don't know what the point is. And ilah, the Arabic word for God, ilah is an object that is more powerful than a human, can do things humans can't do, though not equal to Allah, can also grant Allah's favor on your behalf if you honor and venerate it. That's what they believed about their gods. That's what they thought an ilah was, right? Okay, now, ilah, not Allah, an object of worship. Yes, 
And they worshipped them, they said. They said, we worship them to bring us closer to Allah. So understand what they meant by worship. Listen, this is your Quran, by the way. Your Quran says, they said, we worship them to bring us closer to Allah. So understand why they did ibadah, serve them. We are only serving them to bring us closer to Allah. So now let's take that definition. The black stone will be given eyes and a mouth to speak. The black stone is going to be your intercessor, Shafi, between Allah and you. And because of his closeness to Allah, he will procure Allah's favor on you. That's why now you honor and respect it, right? It, the dolls are good until the end. Wait, wait, wait. When you kiss it, are you not respecting the stone? Yeah, but yeah, you, yeah, you're honoring the stone, yeah, right? You're saying that we got forgiven because the stone. That's what your prophet said. It took away your sins and it will intercede for you. Yeah, how does that make you a god? No, but uh, you agree, right? So you right, respect yeah. the stone. Let me finish the point. You respect the so stone. You kiss the stone. You touch the stone because this stone takes away your sin. Something you can't yeah. do. Can you take away your sin? Uh, no. Can your Muslim friend take away your sin? Umar said that the stone in and of itself is actually meaningless. Muhammad said Umar doesn't know what he's talking about because the stone turned black from your sin. The stone has an ability you don't have or I have. It becomes black from the sins because that's how your sins are cleansed. When you kiss it, it becomes black because it's taking your sin. It's being affected by your sin. Then the Hadith say, on the day of judgment, it will be given eyes and a mouth to speak to intercede for you. For kissing it, honoring it. So far, we agree? Yeah. I oh, okay, yeah, okay. Now, let me repeat, though. You said, yeah. So, guys, follow with me. The black stone has an ability we don't have. It can absorb sins. The black stone will also come to life and then intercede for the Muslims that honored it, kissed it, respected it, and grant Allah's favor for them. That sure sounds like an ilah because that's exactly what the ilah of the pagans did. <laughs> They had an ability to do for them what they couldn't do for themselves, and they would intercede before Allah because they honored those gods, exactly what you do for the black stone. 